In today's episode, we have got our last game of the season against Al Nazar, and I've made a big decision for the future of my career. So, let's go into it and get into today's video. <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And wow, have I got a lot to catch you up on just before we do get into today's game, our last one of the season against Al Nazar. And so, I am starting us off on the finances screen for a reason. Because look at that overall balance. We are £4,000 overdrawn, which for most teams wouldn't be a big deal. But of course, we are in Egypt and that is a massive deal because it seems we are forever in debt. And so we've got a new chairman. We've got a new chairman, we have. And so you would think that he would want to come in and sort out that financial mess, yeah? Uh, he's been in charge a couple months now. And how much has he pumped in? Take a guess. 10 grand? 50 grand? No, not quite. 500 pounds he has dropped in. Why bother? Why even bother? That has not even touched the sides of the debt of what we are in absolutely ridiculous decision he said that he had um he'd what's me call it sorted out a new transfer budget it did not take him long to calculate the new transfer budget because it is still a big fat round juicy zero i wonder how much of his time he spent setting that up and next season, we're going to have a guaranteed budget of £191. Thank you for that. We've also had a new youth intake as well. And so, let's have a look at that. You can see it right here on the screen. Really, not a whole lot to write home about, if I'm honest. But... What you can't see there is that, once again, most of them are being paid. They're being paid a guaranteed wage. So, once again, the youth intake has pushed us massively over our wage budget. We are now committed to spending £1,800 a week. So, we're currently... 1400 over the wage budget. The, the management upstairs of this club is just awful. It's ridiculous, to be quite honest. And so, let's get into the schedule. Let's see how things have got on since we've last been together. You was with me for the game against Tanta, where we came back from 2-0 down in the last six minutes to get a 2-2 draw. That, I thought, was going to be a little bit of hope for us to end that awful run we was on. But it did not happen quite yet. In fact, we ended up going 14 games without a win. But then, we thankfully, we got it back. We won 2-0 against Sabine Republic. We then won 3-1 against Sirs El Lyon. Very nice performance that one was in particular. But then, since then, we've lost 4-1 to El Merica Port Said. Akhmet Atif uh, getting a hat-trick there. Petrojet beat us 3-0. Nagum beat us 2-1 but then 7-0 we lost to Coca-Cola FC rallied Abdel Hamid getting sending off getting himself sent off in the 61st minute we was already 1-2-0 down at that point but they then went on and scored another 5 after that 
And also, that young kid, uh, that young kid who I was really liking the look of, where is he? Uh, he he'll be on this this part over here. Uh, Sharif Mansour, where is he gone? There he is. He's down the bottom. Couldn't spot him there. He has left the club. He's left the club after doing fairly well for us. Seven goals he scored in 13 games. The big, big decision I have come to, which if you've just listened to my rant for the last five minutes, I think you can guess, is that after this game, we are off. We are off out of Coca-Cola FC. I've not told the board yet, but we're going to play this game. See if we can go out on a victory. But then we're going to be resigning. And hopefully, by the time of the next video, I will have some news on hopefully a new club. But that has been helped by the fact that the one good thing about this club is that they've always been willing to help us with uh, coaching badges. So I do feel a little bit bad about leaving them, but this team is going nowhere. So I do feel like I need to go. And so my reputation is currently 15%. So you never know. Might be able to get another job at maybe a slightly higher level. I really don't know. But I'm really looking forward to finding out. And so, for the last time, shall we find out what team I've picked for today's game for Coca-Cola FC? This is the team. We've got Torfik in goal. Sammy at left back, even though he is a right back. We currently haven't got a left back who can play. So, yep, Sammy is going in there. Gomar is our right back for today. Adele and Haney are our two centre-backs. In fact, I'm going to change Adele back to just a bog-standard central defender. And then in the midfield, we've got Siam. We've got Abdul Wahib as our central midfielder. Actually, I'm going to put him I'm going to put him as a Mazala. Yep, Abdul Wahab goes in as the Mazala. Mayhub is our defensive ball-winning midfielder. Ramadan is on the right. And there's also another Ramadan playing as our attacking midfielder. And then up top, it's Eunice as... I think we're going to have him as a pressing forward. Let's go for that. And we're going to go attacking as well, actually. It's our last game. we got nothing to lose. Hopefully, it doesn't go that badly. I'll be back with you guys in a second when we're in the dressing room. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say you've got to put in an improved performance. Not motivated anybody, that. And so, yeah. How, how many is that motivated? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just over half the team. Okay, come on, Coca-Cola FC. One last win would be very, very nice. Well, first highlight of the game, and it's only 15 seconds in. We've got the ball, and we're playing it. All right, I suppose. But now it's Al Nazar in the red. We are in the white, just to confuse us. The ball goes out left. Sammy's got it. And now, oh! Oh my gosh, what a tackle that was from Nazar. We're only 30 seconds in. And what's the referee's decision going to be? It's a red card. It's a red card early. We might actually win this game, people. So, with that very early red card, we are going to be hitting crosses early, going wider, and trying to play extremely high tempo. Let's see, where where's the button to distribute to the flanks? There you go. And also, we're going to be defending wide as well. 28 minutes in, Allah with a free kick for us. Mohamed with the header. And Torfik with the save. And now, what can Torfik do for us? Torfik with the ball. He kicks it long. And can Abdul Wahab get onto this? Yes, he can. He's in the box. He needs somebody to help him. He's crossed it back. Mayu nods it forward. And oh, that's just, just gone wide. Well, that 
is half time. And despite us being a man up, we've been okay. There's not been that many chances for either side. So I do think we are about to go two up top. Get Ramadan off the pitch. E Ramadan, that is the attacking midfielder. And let's chuck on. Let's chuck on El Sayed. Let's go there and let's see what is one of his favourite positions. Target man. Well, he's six foot. I suppose that counts for an Egyptian target man, doesn't it? And Yunus, you are only 5'9". No, you're six foot as well. We'll have you as an advanced forward. And as well, we're going to push Rida and Ramadan up a little bit higher, both as wingers. And I think, I think that's everything we want. Let's go for a higher defensive line. We're a man up, so we should be feeling good. And so, yep, I think that's everything we're going to do. Come on, last 45 minutes in charge of this team. Let's please get a win. 65 minutes gone. Finally, the first highlight of the second half. Salah with the cross for Al Nazar. And we've given away a penalty. Oh, we've given away a penalty. Even against 10 men, we can't win. Who's it going to be to take it? It's going to be Hanafi, who's already on a yellow card. He won't be thinking about that as he scores the goal. Our keeper dives completely the wrong way. He dived so early there. What a mistake from the keeper. Made that very easy for Hanafi, in my opinion. Yeah, Hanafi was never going to miss that. 15 minutes left in the game. It's their keeper with the goal kick. But we get it back, Mokhtar, to Ramadan out wide. And what can Ramadan do? He's gone past his man. He's got space. He wants to get this into the box. He's gone for the shot. Why has he gone for the shot? Five minutes left in the game. Our keeper tries to play it long, but they win it back. And now it's Rabia to Samir. Rabia again with it. And now they're just keeping it in between themselves. Samir with the ball. Allah. To Hanafi, Allah, Mohammed, Mohammed with the long shot and oh! Well, that sums up our time here in charge of Coca-Cola. We've had an extra man for 89 and a half minutes and we can't even get a win. Ridiculous. Oh, I don't know where we're going to end up next, but surely it can't be as bad as these. Surely, surely, surely. Come on, ref, just blow your whistle, mate. And yep, he has indeed blown his whistle. We've lost it 2-0. 11 shots apiece, 4 shots apiece, but their XG 1.52 compared to our 0.4. Wow. You know what? I'm just going to walk out. I'm not even going to say anything to the lads. You can all bloody well go, is what you can do. And so, we're going to press the resign button, and then that's where we're going to leave it for today, after we've seen where we finish in the league. Oh, wow. One little bit of luck we have had at the end of this season. We have finished with the exact same record as Al Saka. We've finished with six games won, seven drawn and 17 lost. But we have been chosen to finish above them. So we finished 11th in the league, which if you look at last season is a bit of an improvement. Over 13th, we've only got two more points though. So yeah, but that is us done at Coca-Cola FC. We're going to resign. We're going to apply for all of these jobs. Very much doubt we'll get interviews for many of them. Arsenal have sacked their manager. Where have they finished in the league? Eighth. Oh. Not that I think we're going to get an interview for the Arsenal job. But yeah, you can see there are so many jobs available. So yep, 
we're going to resign. There it is. Nope, there it is. And we are gone. If this game ever decides to load. Can I please get out? Can I please escape? Why isn't this letting me do anything? Has the game crashed? Oh no, I'm going to be stuck here forever. All lines are busy. Please hold. Oh, finally, finally, about two minutes later, the game has loaded. Oh, I thought I was going to be stuck here. Oh, thank God for that. But yep, we are gone. And so, let's just go to the job market. Let's go on to available jobs. And now let's hit apply all. And yep, that has now gone through. So, that is the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content. Total Extreme Wrestling content. Uh, pff, any other content I think I can come up with in my brain. And so, yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. And I shall see you all oh, next time.